All right, Noah, tell me when you're ready. You're all set. Okay, welcome everybody. I'd like to call the uh, May 23rd, 2024 meeting of the Bay Highway Development Authority to order. It is 9.09. .09. And I'd like to start by welcoming back Mr. Buckland. Ken, welcome back. Thank you. We missed you. We hung, we hung in there. And I'd like to welcome a, a member of the audience, Ms. Sarah Corbett, our new select woman on the select board. Sarah, congratulations on your election. Thank you. And uh, thank you for joining us here at the meeting and observing what we do here at the WRA. I think you'll find it's very important to the town. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Thank you. Uh, with that, I'll dive right into the uh, agenda. <clears throat> You'll notice I kept it short and sweet this this week. Um, oh, roll call, first of all. Ken, would you mind doing a roll call? Uh, Ms. Whiteside, Mr. Sullivan, uh, uh, Mr. Butler, and uh, Mr. Buckland, all present. We have a quorum. Okay, and... Absent is Mr. Bessie. Mr. Bessie's absent. Okay. All right, we have a quorum. Uh, Resident comments. Uh, we only have one, two residents in the audience today. Mr. No Noah, thank you for covering the meeting today for WCTV. Appreciate it. And Ms. Corbett, Sarah, do you have any comments for the WRA? No. Okay. No? Okay. Not at this time. All right. And authority business, the major item on the calendar for us today is discussion of possible vote on request for a Wayham Select Board public hearing and board endorsement of the draft WRA urban renewal plan <coughs> for Wayham Village. We have already scheduled, um, I, I think we've already scheduled a public hearing. Did you get the wording? I got the wording from Sonia <coughs> to make sure that we did it correctly. Right. So we, it may not have gotten done because Linda went home sick. But yes, it's on, it's on the radar. It will be within this, within the month of June. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for doing that. Uh, I was waiting to make sure I got the language in terms of the endorsement, you know, the, the language that is required under the URP. Okay. So we got it from Sonia. Okay, great. Thank okay. you. Ken, thank you for that, and thank you to Sonia. Should we ask um, uh, <coughs> Emily to uh, show up again? Yeah, I think that would be helpful because uh, although we didn't get... I don't think we got a lot too many questions uh, of a technical, highly technical nature from the planning board. We might get more from the select board, and the select board has a much wider optic in terms of what they're going to be looking at. So, do you think she would mind? I know it's outside the scope of her contract. I don't think she would mind at all. Okay. Would you mind asking her, Ken? Sure. Once we have the date and time. Thank you. So, technically, you need a vote to ask the select board because you put it on the agenda that way. Okay, uh, is there any further discussion on the uh, request for a Wayham Select Board public hearing and board endorsement of the draft WRA urban renewal plan for Wayham Village? Well, I'll move that we uh, request the Select Board to hold a public hearing and endorse the uh, urban renewal plan for Wayham Village. Okay, thank you, Ken. I'll second. Okay. Derek, thank you. Any further discussion on this item? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? It passes 4-0-0. Thank you. Uh, report from the Director of Planning. We haven't had this for a while now, Ken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, when did you get back in the saddle down downstairs? Uh, Dan, we're all set on that. He's never... All right. Well, I thought he was on leave. No. Nope. Okay. All right. How are you doing? Doing just fine, thanks. Any report for the WRA today? Yes. Uh, on the uh, uh, coastal facilities study, <coughs> uh, uh, Sean Reagan is the uh, point of contact, and at Halverson, and uh, he said that the uh, and he sent over a copy of the bathymetry and the topography. So they have the, the, uh, the complete uh, uh, topographic survey of the, of the, of the basin and the, uh, and the landform uh, next to it. What's his name? 
Sean Reagan, Reagan, uh, R-A-G-A-N. And Derek, did you get his contact info? I sent that to you, I guess back in May, or excuse me, back in April after our meeting. Um, did you get that email? I'm looking for something under Reagan. Yeah, you asked uh, for Glenn Reagan. I might have put it up. The subject might have been Halverson or... Is he a Sean, S-E-A-N, S-H-A-W-N, S-H-U-N? <laughs> S-E-A-N. Thank you. Ken, how, how hard would it be to put that up on our website for folks to be able to see? It wouldn't be hard at all. Could we do that? Yeah, we could. We could do that. Because uh, uh, we're, we're starting to populate that little tab with this coastal pathway study with some pretty good stuff. I think people will find it very interesting. Yeah, the other thing is the, uh, the meeting with the, uh, the DOT is, uh, hasn't been scheduled yet because uh, Jim Ang has been on vacation out of the country for a while. Okay. And uh, when he gets back, we'll probably have a meeting uh, scheduled in the next couple of weeks. On the coastal talk. facility study? Yeah, on the, uh, on the point of access across the tracks. Okay. Uh, Halverson came up with a, a graphic that uh, shows four locations, four possible locations, and another graphic that shows a, a, an area for, uh, a, uh, a general area for access across the tracks. And what we want to do is have uh, uh, information from DOT and their uh, designers as to uh, how the, <coughs> the design of the, of the grade level crossing should be uh, made, what uh, parameters need to be understood to before the, the design can be complete. And uh, Halverson is working, well, they, they have a recommendation, obviously, that they're going to bring to DOT on what they think we need. Uh, well, they, what they're looking for is the parameters from DOT to know uh, okay. what... Uh, okay. So they're in, they're in a holding pattern right now. That's, uh, yeah, that's right. Well, they, they, uh, they've continued to work on their, uh, on their designs, but uh, they've, they've uh, stopped uh, on the access point based on the, uh, the, the meeting, waiting for, uh, waiting for the meeting with the DOT to decide on the okay. best location. And, and we can put that up on the website as well, too. Okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Um, is there any point in another focus group meeting right now, or should we wait until the, they have the DOT meeting? Uh, I think it may be appropriate to wait for the DOT because they'll give us the design parameters for uh, the crossing itself, which would be a, a key element to... Uh, the design of the other elements. Okay. All righty. And uh, I remember Sean had a prospective timetable for getting through the summer and hitting various milestones. Um, are we more or less on track, do you recall, Ken? I, I didn't look at it before the meeting today, but... We're pretty close to being on track okay. uh, still, although if DOT holds up any longer, it'll be... Uh, We'll be falling behind. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Great. That's good news. I'll take a look at that topography as soon as I get home and fire up my computer. That'd right. be interesting to see. Yeah, well, it is interesting. Um, what else? Anything else? Uh, <clears throat> uh, I got a, 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 a call from uh, the... Uh, the developer or the prospective developer of the Tremont Nail Factory and uh, they uh, wanted to know if their subsidiary uh, uh, Aspen Blue had been paying their uh, their rent checks which they hadn't been. They have not been? They've not been paying their rent checks. For how long? This is to the town not to the WRA. Right. I'm just curious. Nope. This is we're in its potential litigation. We can go into executive uh, okay. session. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And going back, well, 
we don't own that property, so it's not WRA, not a WRA concern at all, really. But since we have been trying to help foster the redevelopment of Tremont Nail Factory, the uh, master developer, are they, aside from what they called you about, uh, are they looking at uh, anything imminent in terms of their efforts to try to move out, or are they still waiting on the Parker Mill Dam? They're waiting on the dam. Okay. To be resolved before they proceed. Okay. <clears throat> but they also had a, a uh, an option for uh, a 500,000 square foot uh, building that they're looking to uh, locate somewhere. And uh, there's no... Uh, no such location in uh, in Wareham, except for one. Where's that? Tremont Hill? Deca School. Oh, okay. Huh. But since that's been committed already, the, uh, there's, there's no uh, property that uh, is available for such a large such a large structure. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I had uh, passed them on to uh, uh, Eddie Makepeace, Jim Kane, but uh, they didn't have anything either in this area, so they uh, passed passed them on to uh, another individual. Okay, that's too bad we don't have something that that fits the bill for them. It is because that would be a significant uh, that would be a. Uh, Amazon uh, distribution center kind of thing. Really? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, anything new on the uh, Eastern Bank, Ken? It looks like they've done a lot to clear the property. Are they Have they come up with a proposal yet that they're no. bouncing off no. your office? The Eastern Bank? Eastern Bank on Main Street? Oh, the old uh, building, no, the old uh, Eastern Bank. The, uh, <coughs> uh, I haven't heard from the developer yet. No. Uh, the last time I had a conversation with him was uh, uh, about uh, three months ago. I asked him if he had a solution for the property yet. He said no, and he was still working on it. Okay. Anything else? No, nothing else. Okay. Ken, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, I, I have a question of, of you in, because of some of the stuff I've been seeing back and forth about a one-stop grant. I'm not sure I remember authorizing that or that it was authorized and the the original request was for a 20 hour use of the or 40 hour use of the serpent money and now we're up to $150,000 I think I'd like to have that put on hold because I want a, I want a list of all of the other things that we have outstanding and that and that you're working on right now I don't think that we have the manpower person power to get all of that done in a reasonable amount of time unless it's at the expense of some of the other things we're working on, specifically the dam, which you just mentioned. Right, and there's been a change in the project management that uh, Fuss and O'Neill on the, on the dam study. So we're, uh, we have new, uh, <coughs> new people involved in that as well, too. Well, then I'm, I'm asking that you stop. All right, well, I, I haven't been involved in that. I uh, just... Uh, you got a pretty asking email the other day, so I would ask that you... Hold you, back on that? Yeah, I mean, I know you report ultimately through the planning board to Derek, but this is something, the use of those hours really comes, it's a, it's a two, joint decision. There are two different things here. Those hours are hours that, 20 hours are available to the board of selectmen, 20 hours are available to the planning board. I understand that, but they took the whole 40. Yeah, but it, it, yeah, but they didn't do that with our authority. That's what uh, I'm saying. This was not properly put through the channel. So could you hold on to it? Sure. The Thank one, you. The one stop grant is a separate program. I understand that. I'm just saying, time is time. It's only this much. It's not 
it doesn't do this. Right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Ken, thank you very much. We'll move on to item five, member comments, new initiatives. And Ken, anything you would like to add now as a comment or a new initiative? Uh, <clears throat> there's a, a person that's interested in uh, bringing in uh, 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 artists to, uh, to town to have installations of, uh, of, of uh, some artwork. Uh, they had uh, been impressed by uh, installations that uh, have uh, gone on elsewhere, and uh, they uh, want to advance something like that in the town as well, too. So they want to explore with uh, whatever uh, agency in town would uh, see them, would support them. Are we talking wall art? Yeah, it could what be, it could wall, be wall mural, or yep. it could be... Uh, it could be actually a structure that gets put up somewhere as well, too. <clears throat> Thank you. Can you said they were impressed with public art somewhere else. Where, where is that somewhere else that they were impressed by? It was Thomas Dambo. Thomas Dambo. And he uh, creates the large structures of... Uh, <clears throat> it look like wooden structures look like trolls. <laughs> okay. No, there's a comment for that that I will not make. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> could you spell his last name? I'll look him up. <laughs> D-A-M-B-O. D-A-M-B-O. Yeah. <laughs> but if, if, if he uh, has wall, wall murals that uh, take, uh, oh, that take place, that, that would be something that I think is, is, is something reasonable to consider because we do have property owners on the... On the on the downtown, that are interested in uh, in this, some wall murals. This agency, this a person or organization that approached you, are they like an arts council? Uh, no, I'm just just an individual. An individual that like a private patron sponsor. Right. Oh, okay. All right. Um, that sounds encouraging. All right. Yeah, let, Ken, if you wouldn't mind letting, letting us know at the next meeting how that goes. Sure. Uh, other new initiatives? Anything else, Ken? No. Okay, thank you, Ken. Mr. Sullivan? No, sir. Nothing today? Ms. Whiteside? Yeah, I, I just want to remind everybody that a separate legal entity is sponsoring the Oyster Fest this weekend on Sunday, as well as a a small road race on Monday. Um, one of the things that I found when I was reading Facebook pages was that some people think that the Wareham Village Association was the sponsor for the Oyster Festival, which couldn't be further from the truth. Um, have we made any inroads to the Wareham Village Association? That's to you or you. And second of all, um, we are, the Board of Health licensed a new tattoo parlor for Main Street a couple of days ago. So you're going to have at least two tattoo parlors, one tobacco sales place. Um, I, I, I know you can't direct what private business does, but the look, I mean, put some trolls in there and, and uh, I'll buy a <laughs> ticket to Panama. <laughs> it might fit. <laughs> so, so the question to you is, where where are we with trying to either revitalize Wareham Village Associates, or as Ron had suggested a long time ago, let's start a new one, which we all thought was a bad idea. I've had no luck in getting uh, traction with the Wareham Village Association in my interactions uh, with Ms. McGraw. Um, she, she's busy, and uh, as, as I understand it, she's pretty well tapped out. <clears throat> and I actually did support trying to uh, create a whole new organization. Um, I, and I mentioned it at one of our meetings that a Wayham Village Residents and Business Owners Association, or something along those lines, uh, that 
uh, helps involve residents as well as the business owners in that in that area. Uh, we might be able to create such a thing, get it up and running, and I wouldn't say it's, it's going to compete with WVA. Uh, it will do, I think, if we uh, are able to encourage it to come into being, the things that we, the Redevelopment Authority, think are necessary to try to revitalize Wareham Village. And, uh, but, but as you point out, it was not a popular idea at the time with the WRA. Um, but I think it's worth looking at again in the future if, if we don't get more I have some concerns the because the, that poster downtown, I asked you about that, who has the keys to the little thing that's in Pizzoli Square? The WVA. Uh, no, we have one too, apparently. No, we do? Yeah, we do have one. Yeah, the do WVA do? has one. Right, they have one and we have one. Yeah. So who's in charge? It's kind of like the Free Stooges right now. No, it, when it was put together, um, when that Main Street project was put together, that was put there for the Wareham Village Association to use. Okay. It doesn't, but there's no agreement, there's nothing like that, but that was where it was put for. So if you're asking if you want the town to take it back, we, we can certainly do that. That's not what I'm suggesting. I'm suggesting that it is a form of communication, kind of like what do you call them, the wayfaring signs or the mm -hmm. way, way wayfinding, wayfinding yeah. signs. And um, it, it, we could use it to better advantage. We have um, a great strengthened relationship with WCTV in terms of uh, broadcasting all of our meetings town you know board and committee meetings and the the public the complaint that many people continue to hear is well we don't know well if you want to encourage downtown traffic that wayfinding wayfinding stuff needs to be available to the public and it needs to be current and we also have that how to find wareham or we talked discover about this. Wareham. Yeah, that Discover Wareham. So what have we done about that? Well, Discover Wareham, and Ken, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, we, the WRA, uh, pay for it. And I think we set it up to now pay an annual subscription. Is that right? I don't think it worked out because they're still charging Ken. Right. Yeah. It's the first bank of Ken right now. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so the first bank of Ken is paying for that. <clears throat> and actually, I brought that up with the uh, uh, board of directors at the w WCTV. That's the kind of thing, as Wayham Media, they could potentially manage on behalf of the town if we wanted to request such a thing. But, uh, no, 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 no. You don't request anything of WCTV unless you go through the board of selectmen. It's the select board's contract with WCTV, right. not the town administrators. Yeah, no, that's not the... Uh, as, I, as I mentioned, I brought it up with the board directors is something that they might contemplate and I wanted to get their reaction to that mm -hmm. because it's not being actively You're managed. talking about the WCTV board, which WCTV you are now board, on. Yeah. Right. And that that website is a tremendous website. I thought it was really well designed, but it's not been kept vibrant and uh, It has been kept up to date. And, a, a, and you know, a, a single webmaster at a place like WCTV where they're good at that kind of thing could keep that uh, very vibrant. Uh, it would fit nicely with Wayham Media's mission. Well, this may, this, this may Media. work with uh, either uh, uh, Wareham Week. Pardon? May work with Wareham Week as well too, because Wareham Week is expanding their uh, their media into. Uh, oh, multimedia, right? Well, but. <clears throat> but in order to make sure that what the town wants to have on the website, it needs to be either the town or a town contract, not a private entity. So I think the step you apparently took is possibly the appropriate one. It's going to have to be negotiated both ways, right. obviously. But to me, it makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and WCTV has partnered with Wareham Week. They have a weekly 
two minute, 10 minute show where they, they talk about stuff. But this is a delivery system for Wareham information, not news. Wareham information. Some people may say it's the same thing, but I don't think so. Yeah, you bring up a good point, Judith, that we, <clears throat> consistent with what we're trying to achieve with the urban renewal plan for Wareham Village, if we want to revitalize the village, tell people about it, attract uh, foot traffic to the restaurants and that type of a thing, we need to take advantage of modern day communications technology to get the word out there. And again, when I looked at the way, Discover Wayham website, when I do the Google search, Wayham, what can I do there? That pops up and it's a great website, except that it doesn't tell you anything about what's going on today. It's a great introduction to Wayham, but it doesn't tell you. Resources, it tells you about open space, it tells you about. Doesn't uh, have, yeah, exactly. <coughs> It tells you, it gives you the good general information about what a great location this is and what a great little town it is, but it doesn't tell you what's happening next week. It doesn't tell you about the Oyster Festival. It doesn't tell you about any of the events that might draw people weekend, week in and week out to the village. And that's the only reason I brought it up with WCTV. I, I thought it might be something that was in their wheel well that they might want to take on if the town, if we, the Redevelopment Authority, wanted to outsource that responsibility to them. We own it, we own that site, or at least at one of our meetings we agreed to pay for it. Um, but we don't have the wherewithal to maintain it actively day in, day out, week after week. Well, uh, neither does the town. Neither the town nor the WRA have the man po person okay. power to do that. That's right. We don't have a full-time staff like WCTV has, for right. example, that could potentially do that. They also have interns, they... Oh, yeah. They, that, that's a, that's a tremendous resource potentially for the town that uh, we could try to exploit even further. But it, it didn't it, it, it didn't fall on deaf ears, but it was, uh, we got a lot going on right now. Um, we'll, have to, we'll have to think about that. That's the reaction I got to it. And nobody, nobody in the room when I brought it up had seen it. So, uh, but if you'd like, I can bring it up at the next meeting with WCTV. To me, it makes sense because it's it's there. It's a delivery system we're not using. Right. Right. I, uh, I, you know, currently. I, I think it could be updated on the general information about the town as well, too. Uh, I've gotten a, uh, an, a, a, a call from uh, the uh, land trust about additional information on land trust lands that uh, they thought were appropriate for the website, and I agree. Uh, but uh, I was unable to accomplish the, uh, the modification of the, of the website to include their information. So technically going to the website. Yeah, that can be a problem with some websites if they're not, not locked mm -hmm. down, but if they've been designed by a webmaster and it's not easy to figure out what they did to lay it out and to modify it and update it. But um, again, there are people that are good at that, and I would suspect that People at WCTV might be able to do it. But uh, that's worth looking at, I think, in the future. And if you if you don't object, I'll bring it up again at the next board of directors meeting at WCTV. Because I think it's a great site. And we've been paying for it, except it's not it's not being updated. It's not really achieving that goal that you have, Judith. Uh, Judith, any other comments or new initiatives? That was pretty good, wasn't it? That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? Okay. I just have a few quick items. Uh, one, you should have a copy of the letter that I sent out to Representative Susan Williams Gifford on May 17th. Now, this is the one that we discussed at two prior meetings, uh, requesting that we collaborate with her and her staff on trying to uh, elevate <clears throat> Wayham as a priority for commuter rail. Uh, I haven't heard anything back from them yet. Uh, as soon as I do, I'll get the word out to all of you uh, and we'll try to set up a meeting. Uh, the 13 May <clears throat> public hearing with the planning board I thought went well. Uh, Ken, thank you for joining us for that and taking the, uh, I took the softball questions, you took the line drives and thank you for doing that. Uh, I thought 
My, my general impression is that uh, the URP was well received by the planning board and by the public. We had a supportive, we had several supportive comments. Uh, you may have seen the Wayham Week article where one of our residents was quoted uh, as having said that uh, she was pleased that we're doing something. Um, and then the uh, planning board voted unanimously to, to endorse the plan. They voted unanimously that it does comport with the Wayham Master Plan 2020. <clears throat> uh, dumpster consolidation. Uh, Derek, at our, at our last meeting, you mentioned you wanted to talk to GAF Engineering about extending the, or expanding the project to include improved parking. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know where we stand, Ken, with that contract. Uh, do, we, do we have a deliverable from them expected anytime soon? From Madden? Well, they are, Madden is, um, I would say, they are about as swamped as any organization can be, GAF, so. I wouldn't expect something for them for a while. And if we're going to do it with, we're not going to do it separately with the parking one too. You're going to do it all at one time, because otherwise we're just paying to redesign what just got designed. Right. So I wouldn't expect a deliverable for I'd say six months out of them. If I'm six months. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we could try Halverson uh, uh, because they have the topography of the site. Yeah. And they're designing, and uh, they're good designers. So. Yeah, we can try and do a diff couple different things. You discussed, Derek, expanding the scope of the current contract with GAF Engineering. Have we done that, or is yeah, that? Yeah, I talked to Bill Madden on it. Okay. And they're willing to take that on? Yep. Okay. Is that something the WRA will have to pay for if they if we expand the nope, we scope? Have a, uh, we have a grant for uh, the back end of Merchant's Way revitalization, so. Okay. So we cover that. Um, and it's also adding into it the, uh, the spot by El Mariachi, designing to raise that to sidewalk level and creating a uh, same size but more of a speed table bump going to the right to the old train station. Hmm. Okay. So it's parking and traffic flow, basically. Yeah, the whole thing's about traffic flow. Okay. I think I think that Halverson would be a good a good one to uh, include on that because. Uh, well, you've got. Um, don't forget, you included it in the thing for. Uh, we just did with the complete streets. Right. So oh, yeah, we're we're, sure. we're having five different people working on this. So I'm trying to un, undo and consolidate it. So. Okay. <laughs> That's. <laughs> We're trying to get a lot accomplished, so. Okay. And then, Ken, you covered Coastal Pathway pretty well, I think. Uh, then the last time I wanted to, wanted to mention under member comments was our internship. I just want to put, the, put that out there again, that we authorized a, a generous internship uh, supporting the WRA for college and graduate students. Uh, the stipend would amount to $20 an hour for an undergrad, $25 an hour for a graduate student. Uh, as far as I know, we haven't had any applicants yet, Ken, for the summer, is that right? No, no applicants. And I think as we all know, we, when we did get an applicant last year, uh, Ken's office negotiated with our first intern to uh, work part-time uh, within the limits of the stipend limit that we provided. Uh, and Ken, I think uh, we'd be willing to do that again if you do get any interest from anybody, uh, particularly if it's a local student, uh, somebody with roots in the community. I think that's great if we can help nurture some interest in the WRA's work among a, a local college kid. See if they want to run for the board of selectmen as well, too. Hmm. Pardon? See if they want to run for the board of selectmen as well. <laughs> right. But, yeah, we want to try to foster the next generation of urban planners for the town. Um, but you all have really good contacts in a, in a diverse, uh, overlapping community. Uh, I would encourage all of us on the WRA to try to get the word out on the internship, see if we can take full advantage of this uh, stipend. And I'll talk to Liam Mayo at Wayham Week to see if he 
would consider doing another article for Way and Week to try to get the word out. And correspondence. Ken, have you seen any correspondence lately? No. Okay, NTR. The prior meeting minutes, uh, you shall uh, have a... We did, we did get uh, one correspondence on the, uh, the uh, insurance. Oh, yes. You, you got that right? I saw that. I need to go down to your office afterwards to sign that. Yeah, good. Okay. I'll follow you downstairs. Thanks. Um, meeting minutes for our April 25th meeting. Again, Judith, thank you very much for uh, your uh, expert, concise minutes. Uh, I'll give you a moment to review those. I looked them over and compared them to my notes and uh, they, uh, they seem spot on, Judith. Thank you. I move the acceptance of the minutes as printed. Okay, we have a motion from Ken Buckland to approve the minutes. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. And is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor of approving the minutes for the WRA meeting held April 25th, 2024, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, it passes unanimously, 4-0-0. Okay, any, uh, any last minute items before we adjourn? Okay, thank you everybody. I'll call for a motion to adjourn. So made. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Okay, we are adjourned at 945. Thank you everybody.